60 second shield on myself. Alright, so off to find a random creature. See you guys in a second. Ha, <laughs> mud crabs. Perfect. Not that they are a difficult enemy, but this should be fun to use my ice on. And before that even, I just want to uh, go insane with use of my spells here. Six actually is my conjuration. Alright, now I'm gonna... see it. I want to mainly see if I can get a couple different crabs here. I guess. That's one of the two. I did get both of them. That's pretty cool. Was he protected from damage while in that spell? Uh, it seemed like I hit him right before he came out of the ice, and unless I missed and it just looked like a hit, uh, I don't think he took damage from that hit while he was in the ice. That would be an interesting restriction on that spell that I think would make it quite a bit less attractive. That'd be something... Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. That... Oh man. Somewhere in the game, there is a mud crab that big. Holy crap, that is a big mud crab. Wow. Maybe there's uh, some spell chain to resurrect this one. Oh, you went down quick. Alright, so there's a little uh, breath testing. Hopefully I will be uh, working more and more into using those breaths pretty much every time they're off cooldown. I'm kind of bad about it right now, but I think it's really going to be an integral part of uh, pure magic play. Um, more so even than uh, on my archer, which is what I'm used to. Alright, so uh, off to the college. Oh, hey, another quick note. Um, up till this point, I've thought that uh, you only level skills, skills up when you're using them. Um, in Oblivion, hey, you could basically just run around jumping and casting spells, and even if the spells weren't really useful to you, like even if an Alteration Shield never got attacked while it was on, um, you could level them up just by casting the spells. Up until now, I thought that Skyrim were smart enough to tell when the spells were actually being used. Um, however, I just got a level in Alteration when I had a shield on myself but hadn't been attacked. So uh, you might be able to just spam spells out and get skills off of it. I'll, tr I'll test this out a little bit more and uh, try to get back to you guys on uh, whether or not that's true. Okay, so I'll squeeze this in. Here we have a quest where uh, I have agreed to the Red Guard woman in the Bannered Mare that I will help her and that I will kill the Alakir warriors following her. Um, I'll try to put an annotation up on which video this quest started in and with a link to it. Um, but I'm in the bandit cave. I've only really taken out a couple bandits. Uh, I'm in the location that it tells you to go to. And uh, I mainly want to do this video, this part, to uh, to capture some of this spell play because I'm really starting to like it. Oh yeah. See what else we got here. Archa. Ooh, missed him. Sorry, I'm not commentating, guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm really getting into this spell play. Actually, this is uh, this is pretty amazing. Um, so, some tricks with the flame, Atronach especially in these tight hallways. You can put the flame at your knack in choke points. They can't get past her. And the flame at your knack is immune to uh, flame spells. So you can AoE flame them and take out packs of enemies at once. This is, uh, this is one really super useful tactic that uh, basically has made how I get through here. Alright, now here's another neat trick with the flame atronach. Um, here in just a second when I have enough magic. There's a caster up on top of this platform. I'm almost there. Oh, come on now, come on now. Oh, I know I can get this. Yeah, check that out. That is great. Okay, now the caster is probably going to focus the flame action. I, yeah, sure enough, the flame's fighting the caster. Now I can just get up here and actually I'm not going to go up yet. Oh, my uh, flame action I have to do a little bit. Oh, no, she came down. That's no good. 
I expected this to work a little bit better than it has so far. Alright, um, to use up some of these potions, to keep them more active in my memory, I think I'm going to come in and favorite quite a few of them. The big ones especially. Um, and then I'm going to come right in here. And let's do the extra magic first. That was maximum magic. And then a couple more minor. Why not? Look at how many I got. Let's, let's delve into that just a touch. And let's get up here, and it's just a bandit outlaw. So, that hurts. You shouldn't do that to me, woman. Oh, man. Let's see here. Let's see if I can work a little of this, this block. Probably could have been blocking that a little better. I did I go through both of those bear traps? I would really like to know if I hit those bear traps because I think she stabbed me once in that fight, and I think her stab was just about all that got me. If I went through those bear traps, then the damage I took would make a lot more sense. Low value book, no thanks. Candlelight, I've got that one, but I'll take it anyway because it sells for a good bit. Um, and now I have weight, like I could pick up steel daggers and such if I wanted. I have all the weight in the world to pick up whatever. Notice that uh, on those gold pieces, sometimes those can be a pain in the butt to pick up. In uh, previous Elder Scrolls titles, sometimes I'd just leave a table full of gold just because you got to sit there and click on it. But you'll notice on that last piece of gold, uh, I was a little off-center of it. My cursor wasn't even touching any part of the, the piece of gold, and I still picked it up. So. Uh, it's kind of good that you can pick items up when you're close to them, especially if you're not looking at something different anyway. Um, and that's nice. So I always go for gold on tables now. Little blood there on the edge. That's really cool. Um, I almost don't want to do this little area out of order, but oh, uh, you know what? I'm not going to. Actually, Lydia got up here. Would you look at that? So this must be the way up, and it's probably pretty short. An empty wine bottle. No thanks. So... Oh boy. Huh? That's not gonna choke. Oh, Lydia. What are you doing, Lydia? I guess Lydia in a choke works too. Um, let's see if I can snipe a little firebolt here. Step on back over. No, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Alright, here. Oh, and they're down. Okay, so sometimes as a mage, you don't even have to attack. Just let your pets go play. I saw a shirt the other day that was red and it had black lettering, and right on the chest of the shirt it said, I think I need minions. <laughs> that cracked me up. I think I need minions. Yep, that would be great. I think I think I, I require some little ones to do my bidding. Thief, I must have already read that. It is a 60 value book, so I'm going to go ahead and take it. Oh, don't rest. Take the book. I don't need to go to sleep. I guess I did start to read it. I guess it was, you know, close to putting me to sleep. Reading kind of doesn't put me to sleep. I don't know. It depends. A good book doesn't put me to sleep. good book will keep me up. Alright. My objective's over there. I'm kind of ignoring that corner. I don't really know why. I guess I want to have the satisfaction of coming out on the bottom part of this. Okay. So now I've uh, searched that little side of the cave. This should be the last unsearched section. And, uh, Lydia better get up here pretty quick. Go ahead, take off. You're going to need to get up here. I guess, you know what? I feel confident. I feel confident going in hot. Uh-oh. Maybe. If it's in water. I assume I can still summon my flame metronite. Um, Elder Scrolls games are notorious for putting chests in water. Proving your strength, boy. Let's avoid any more bloodshed. I think you and I have some things to talk about. Kill Kamatu? Or talk to him. So, I'm glad Lydia's with me. That means that I could approach him, and he wouldn't... He t Stay your hand, warrior. They were looking it's up no there. It's no secret why you're here. And you have proven your skill in combat. Let us talk a moment, and no one else needs to die. I think we can all profit from the situation in which we find ourselves. My men will not attack you if you will lower your weapons. Why are you, you after Sadia? To the Aldmeri Dominion, 
Were it not for her betrayal, Tanith could have held its ground in the war. The other noble houses discovered her betrayal, and she fled. They want her brought back alive. The resistance against the Dominion is alive and well in Hammerfell, and they want justice. I've been sent to kill you is my only other option, so I guess if I hit tab I could just walk away from him and uh, probably go back to mess with Sadia. Um, so this interesting thing about this little bit of storyline, I'm going to go ahead and hit tab well. and see. What do you need? I wonder Ooh, if he's just going to keep... Time. Okay, he's not. Okay, so this is an interesting bit of storyline here about Hammerfell that uh, kind of parallels what's happening in Skyrim. What's happening in Skyrim is uh, the Stormcloaks are rising up against the uh, Battleborns and the control of the Empire to say that uh, Skyrim should be under the control of Nords and Nordkin and specifically a king who used the voice to kill the last king. Um, these guys uh, are kind of part of a resistance like the Stormcloaks uh, to something that happened like that in Hammerfell, their hometown. So, um, I don't know if there are any ties, but aiding them seems like aiding the Stormcloaks in the main storyline, and, uh, aiding the Empire in the main storyline would seem like I should go against them and, uh, help the, the, the girl who sold Hammerfell out to, uh, the Authority, basically. Um, I think I'm actually gonna go with, uh, the Empire, and I think that I... I'm going to pretty much kill all these rebel scum. I wonder which one's going to be a magic user. I kind of want to open with a lightning bolt on him. I see all with swords. Let's just go he heavy with fire. This is probably going to be a tough fight. So, I'm going to get to shouting. What do we have open? Alright, now uh, let me uh, push the minor magic a couple times. Um, yes. No, I'm almost there. Come on. I have to be almost there, right? Get me a little closer, a little faster. Do the extra magic. Lydia, protect yourself. Holy crap. Whoa! Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. Whoa! I'm in kind of a, uh, I'm in a tight spot right here against the terrain. Lydia, I think, is taking a knee. Um, so... She's gonna go first. And then, what do we got next? We're gonna have... I actually wanna stay on the frost. The ice breath, I think, is my number eight. Ice form is, okay. So go back to it. I'm glad to see that my Atronach's still here. I really wish lightning did better damage in water. I'm gonna run from him just a little bit. And him. Lydia's back up. That's great. That is great. And... Kamatu, you gotta give up, dude. I got you. I got you and your whole crew. Whoa! Whoa. Holy crap. Kamatu just exploded. Was that Kamatu that exploded? I think that was Kamado. Where's his body? He exploded and... No, no. Aha. Uh -huh. He must have had a bomb on him or something. That is that is insane. 100 gold. Hammerfell garb. They weren't even wearing any armor. Nutcases. They must have been like the, uh, the assassins up there. What's this? Alakir hood? Okay, that's nothing too. Oh, man. Alright, so, uh, I guess I don't have to absolutely show all the rest of me looting this, because if you're in this cave, playing through yourself, then, uh, you can, you can see pretty much everything here, and, uh, see, probably just in what I've got so far, let alone in the gold that I'm gonna get from Sadia, that this, this quest is worth doing. And this is one that you pick up just from a couple red guards talking to a guard right inside Whiterun when you come back from killing the dragon. I already checked that body, okay. So, uh, I'm going to finish closing this out. I'm probably going to record me talking to Sadia, and then, uh, and then we're going to go see about the college.